Stay with us for all the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Fresnel Kimpembe in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And they kick off here. Man. and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end so this is it for Argentina World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986 runners up in 1913, 1990 and can't miss surely oh, decent save there Fired over by Messi. Well, not cleared away completely. Danger averted for now. Mbappe. Mbappe. Benzema. He takes aim. Able to get a body in the way. Possession lost by Di Maria. Teo Hernandez Mbappe Griezmann Griezmann Oh really commanding goalkeeping And short it is. Oh, a fine block. Griezmann. Hernandez. Could be. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Paredes. Martinez. Lo Celso. Di Maria now. Options in the middle. And beating the defender. Can he give them the advantage? Looked it brilliantly. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty.
This to make it 1 0. And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately, fortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So back underway. Will there be a response from France here? Options in the centre. Thumped clear. This might be ideal for the counter. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Griezmann. Oh, he's lost. This could level it. Is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Molina. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? No nonsense clearance. Martinez. And he keeps going. Fine cross into the middle. And the problem not completely solved. Martinez determined defending Teo Hernandez Pogba has it now the stoppage time situation one minute here Conte and back with Griezmann The first half here comes to an end. And back underway with France looking to find a route back into this game. And he's beaten him here. And a very good challenge. Counter-attacking very much an option. Defenders need to cover. Martinez. Can't miss, surely. Blocking it. Textbook defending inside the box. Kylian Mbappe and Benzema at the hub of this attack let's see what he does next aimed towards Mbappe threat over for now it seems Mbappe can he convert and the keeper more than equal to the task Corner kick to France, and a goal here would really change the complexion of this match. So a personnel change then. And a short corner, let's see. And Benzema in the middle. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Kimpembe. 
Able to get a body in the way. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Messi. Martinez! Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Benzema. Making progress. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Martinez. Oh, a lovely ball. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Messi and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, he's got past his man. That's excellent defending following the cross. Playing it short. And Benzema in the middle. A very effective clearance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Lionel Messi. And France have it back now. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Rodrigo de Paul. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Martinez! Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. This is very rare indeed. Three substitutes coming on at the same time. Messi, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Look at Digne. Digne, this looks more than decent. And Benzema in the middle. Well, no way through. Di Maria. No space for them here. The inside route looking promising. Happy to take on the shot. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Goal. Three goals without reply. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And a chance for him on the flank. Tries to lift it. Just witnessed a special moment, pure quality.
Well, I have to say that's a really composed finish. He had to get that absolutely right. He certainly did that. say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.